Good evening, everybody. Russell Fan Four Twenty Three here. It's at six fifty nine p.m. on Saturday, December twelfth, two thousand twenty. It's time for day eleven of twenty five days of Disney. This is Cinderella. It was Disney's animated feature film and his return to fairy tales after he has financial difficulties in the nineteen forties. It was released in nineteen fifty. It was recently registered and put in the National Film Registry, and he got help from many Disney artists during this production of the film, including concept artist Mary Blair. It's a timeless tale about a young woman who is forced to become a servant in her stepmother's house to live with her two evil stepsisters. They were extremely jealous of her beauty, but luckily she had friends to help her out. When they created a fall gown, the stepsisters tore it up. That made her sad. So the fairy godmother helped her and turned the mice into horses, the horse into coachman, and Bruno into the footman, and Cinderella got a beautiful new gown and glass slippers to go with it so she could be ready for Prince's Ball. But there was one small hiccup there, of course. The, the spell would, be, would wear off at midnight and everything would be back to normal. But, she, but that didn't stop her from going to the ball. And the film featured the voice talents of Eileen Woods, Eleanor Audley, James McDonald, Verna Felton, and many others. This film had signature music done by Jer Mac David, Jerry Livingston, and Al Hoffman. And this film was a was a success when released in 1950. And its success brought two direct-to-video sequels, which would come out in 2002 and 2006. A famous castle at Walt Disney World. Maybe it was that, or maybe it was not, but it also ushered in a new renaissance to Disney's parks. And of course, it led to, to many more of Walt Disney's projects into television and live-action films. And of course, his crying achievement in Disneyland was soon to follow. This is a timeless film that's been put on VHS three times in 1988, 1995, and 2005. And on DVD in 2005 and 2012. It was recently put on Blu-ray in 2019. And first time in 2011 and 12. Cinderella is one of those classic films that tell us this, that We, if we just believe in ourselves, our dreams will come true. And even miracles can take a little time. Cinderella, a true Disney gem that will be cherished for, for every generation, young and old alike, for years to come. And happy 70th birth anniversary to this film. It was released 70 years ago this, su this summer, and I was happy to celebrate that. I really was. So that'll do it. I'm Frozen Fan Four Channel One. Stay tuned for day number twelve, which is going to be leading the tramp. So you don't want to miss it.